What is this video about? I'm making a video about um, transition and what it means to be for my young child to to uh, go child services, cargo services. This video is about transition. Transition is what we call the journey from being a child to being an adult. This video tells you about all the different things you will need to think about during your transition. Transitions plan is usually made in year 11 and it's about how to take the next step into going into college. It includes what course you uh, might want to study in college, what um, job you eventually want to go on and do. It's about planning your future and um, what, what courses you want to do, what help you need like writing and reading and what support you need for from adults. Well, you know it's your life. It's about knowing where you're going to in your life. Yeah. What you want to achieve. What you want to achieve in your life. Yeah. It's a plan that is all about you. I think I would really benefit from one. To help me have some idea of what I would like to do in the future and what support I would need when I leave school and go on to further education. Leaving school it made me feel um, excited as I thought I outgrew most of the uh, um, people there and um, it was and a real exciting time to be able to make some new friends and stuff. I'm actually terrified because I don't actually know what, you know, the future brings for me when I leave school. I don't know what I'm going to do or what plans I might have at college or university. I feel a bit nervous and a bit excited. <laughs> One thing I am excited of going my golden eye. OK, so when you left school, you felt a bit nervous, yeah. but also a bit excited. Yeah. One thing you felt excited about was going to boarding college. Yeah. How do you in the world. How you, you learn how to live in life, how to live in the world, because you were at boarding college. Yeah. OK. He gave you a life, like, do what you want to do after leaving school. So you could be more independent, like, I don't, don't have to tell you, you can do this, you can do that. You could plan your own future when you leave school. I believe throughout um, school I got enough support and um, at college at the moment uh, people shouldn't worry about um, losing support because um, despite range of support being different it's still out there you've just got to um, find it yourself and um, just be positive about everything. Sometimes there's only one teacher and there's so many other children, so it takes time for the kids to care of everybody. I get a lot of support um, at school at the moment. I get one-to-one -one support, which is really fantastic. Um, but I suppose the one thing I am worried about is the level of support I will get when I leave um, to go to uni, um, because it all changes um, when you leave to go to uni. And I'm actually really, really scared. 
I think don't worry about. Don't worry about moving on. You've got a lot of support in place. Finding somewhere to live is going to be um, difficult for certain people as um, the council house bidding system is in place, but um, it was designed to make it easier. However, um, people say that the easiest way to get a property in London is to by uh, finding a private landlord on the internet or something. And my parents are very protective of me and I don't think they would like me to leave home. I'm happy where I live now because, because um, there's shops and jobs and if I move somewhere far, it will be difficult for me to actually find a job, find a, a college. My number one dog is I like in my own place. My number goal, my number one goal was to move into my own place. Yeah. yeah. My, social me. my social worker helped me. Yeah. Getting a job can be quite difficult um, for starters because the job market is so tight at the minute and um, also um, the interview process can be scary for some people. Some can get nervous when they've never met someone for the first time and are um, just trying to impress them. And some people find CVs very difficult to write as they haven't written everything on it. And like one lit wear in the CV can mean missing a job entirely. I really want to get a job and um, I think it just gives me more independence to actually do what I love doing and that is performing and um, entertaining people. You have to do a CV, apply for a job. You have to go and give the CV to the what job that you're doing. And if they like your CV, then you have to wait. And if they say, yes, they like your CV, you get a job. I think you be Ryan, Ryan. I think you have to keep trying and trying. Or. Or. Uh, if, ask if. If, if you've got a social worker. If you've got a social worker. Have a meeting with them. I think and help you. Um, tell them I'm looking for work and then they could help you. Making friends um, can be hard sometimes, but you've got to find common ground with um, people and then start talking about it. Joining student unions, um, groups in college and stuff can help the friend making process become a little easier for you and then you'll make many more friends. I think that if you're in the home environment or the work environment or at, um, or at school or at, um, or at college Go up to people. Introduce yourself. It's a bit difficult because people walk away from you when you try to talk to them. It makes me feel um, sad that people walk away from me. People need to keep trying making friends because whether you're ignored or people don't want to talk to you, you know, keep trying because there will always be someone, I think, who will, you know, end up being your best friend, probably. Yeah, I think people just need to keep trying. Whether people are rude to them or, you know, people can be rude, 
in the way maybe people look at them in terms of their disability. Um, but I think, again, you know, people just need to keep trying. Sometimes you don't know what to do. Yeah, you don't know yeah, what sort of places you want to go. Kill your social worker and get my sort something out for you. Finding stuff to do in Camden is quite a easy process. Well, um, if you're a young person, there's a wide variety of um, after-school activities and um, clubs to do during the school holidays that will eventually um, come on your CV and look quite good. There's like a range of filmmaking, performing arts, plenty of stuff to do. You find out by um, looking on the website, on Camden's website and other organisations' website. Well, if you can't find anything to do, I suppose, you know, looking for things on the internet that you really like doing, because I, I really like doing drama. So if I wanted to look up, uh, say if I didn't really know anything about WAC, and I just typed in WAC Performing Arts and Media College, I'd look it up and think, oh yeah, this is something I really want to do. You have to research. Or go on the internet. Or go to the library and to find out more about what you're into. Yeah. Being independent is important as you feel much more free when you're independent. It's just, it doesn't mean you have to stop um, getting help from people, it just means your ideas have the chance to flourish. When you're independent, you go to your shops by yourself, or you could go watch yourself by yourself, and I need lots of support. Yeah, I love being independent. Um, I'm very independent. I can do things, um, you know, on my own. If I need help, I'll ask for it, do you know what I mean? Whatever you want to do, you do it. When you are independent. When, when you are independent. Yeah. The main message I'd be is don't be scared of transitions. It's a natural thing that happens and you'll get through it eventually. <laughs>